What's up, gang? It's Willie Rebuild. Back with another one, baby. So today, Monday, the day the old Elko was supposed to get the tune in her. But I did get a tune in it, but I didn't put it on the dyno. And the reason why is because Number one, I need to break this engine in a little bit, but I can't break it in with what's in there right now. And what I mean when I say that is, today, when I brought it over to my tuner to get the bass tune in it, so I could, break it in he see will it rebuild what size injector is in there i see to be honest i never checked them because the guy already had the injectors in the engine when he dropped the car off to me so he see you know you need to know exactly which one in there which I knew that. So I unhooked the fuel rail. I pulled one of the injectors out. Cause at first I thought that this was just a, a, a stock injector. I never really put a lot of attention into the injectors. So I pulled one of them out. We Googled the part number. Injector come back to a 60 pound injector. I see that shit no good and he said the same thing that's the reason why the engine kept washing the rings out on the last guy this injector is way too big for what's in here right now just a 6 with heads and cam so i called a customer and i told the customer hey man we need to change those injectors which i i I threw that out there when I first got the call, but sometime when you're watching the guy spend his hard on hard earned money, you're trying to save money wherever you can to try to help the guy out. But sometime you should follow your first mind and go with what you know is right. That's why I did that with the camshaft that was in it. I'd rather use a camshaft that I know is gonna perform and be able to accomplish certain power goals that the customer is looking for. But I did get the bass tune put in it. I got the fans activated in the ECU and I told the tuner to just go ahead and put the tune in it for the injector a 42 pound injector which the guy was able my tuner was able to get a better deal on the injector than I can get so I let him order the injector an injector that he used with a bill like this and he already got the flow numbers on the injector so he went ahead and tune the engine for the injector with that flow number with the base tune so now what I can do is today Monday the injector should be in about maybe Friday so once the injectors come in game what we can do then is I can put the injectors in it I already got the base tune for that injector in the ECU so I can go and put about 300 miles on the engine with the brake and all and then we can put it on the dyno and make pulls you don't want to put a fresh engine on a dyno like this because you're going to blow that bitch or if not blow it it's risky it's just risky if you want to do your engine like that that's fine but a customer engine nah give the engine a little break in period, give it time for the range to seat, and then you go and put it on the dyno 
because the last thing you want to do is have to replace an engine that's not yours. So that's what I did today. Instead of a dyno tune, which I never was going to put it on a dyno right away. I was just going to bring it over there like I did. I didn't really do a lot of, re I didn't do any recording over there because once I pulled off the fuel rail, the fucking injector back here on number seven cylinder started leaking. So then I had to get a, I had to get a, uh, a O-ring from my tuner so we can at least start it up to see how it was running with the base tune in it. It run a lot better, but it's still these injectors. The tune is not for these injectors. The tune is for the new injector. So we, we can go drive it and put a few hundred miles on it. And then we'll drain the oil, the braking oil out of it. And then go and uh, put it on the dyno. So sometime next week, you will see the elbow on the dyno. As you can see, I switched spots with it, with the box Chevy. We made a mess this morning, cause my boy, he, my boy Chicago shorty is hard head, and he wanna try to run a hose on the box Chevy, cause we got the box Chevy torn down right now. As you can see, we ain't got no radiator in it, or nothing, no water pump or nothing. Cause we just finna freshen up the 305 a little bit until we build an engine for it. But he started it up and I told him, let's just push it out. And as you can see, he got a trailer transmission fluid from all the way over there where he crunk it up at. So we just went ahead and pushed it in the back of the shop. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this spot up on the ground and then I'll put the elbow back in. I go and go ahead and get all the start on it with the base tune in it. too much fuel from that 60 pound injector always remember when you messing with a car and you doing mods bigger is not always better you gotta buy parts that work together a 42 pound injector is way better with this setup than a 60 pound injector it's like you putting a 750 carburetor on the stock 305. The bigger carburetor is not gonna be better because it's gonna dump too much fuel into the engine game. But I ain't about to hold y'all up. I'm about to clean up that spot on the floor, back the Elko, back in the shop. And all I can do is wait until the new injectors come in, gang. It's Willie Rebuild. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to get with y'all on the next one, baby.